I never been to a Costco business center, but I heard there are some interesting stuff, so we decided to come here and check it out. Well, it took me about five seconds to find a reason this was different. This blender is eleven hundred and sixty dollars, but this looks like one that you would find in a, a smoothie shop. That's super. That's pretty expensive. heavy duty. Commercial. So this one is super expensive. Yeah, I know. It's because it's intended to be used in a shop. It's not just like for home use. Huh. So basically, you have all the stuff that you can use in the restaurants. Or for a catering business. Right, like business. Yeah. That's why they call it business yep. center, I guess. Yep. Another thing for uh, folks who like doing hot pot, you could get one of these. Probably last a good long time. I bet the temperature is a lot more even than one you find at a regular store. Or, if you're super hungry, you could get the 60 cup rice cooker. How much rice you can make using this? Well, 60 cups. It's a lot. Oh, 60 cups. Yeah. Well, if you have a big family, I guess that works. Yep. Well, here's another interesting item for folks who might really like whipped cream. I like whipped cream. Yeah, I know you do. So you can get one of these and you can just pour heavy cream inside of it. And then it has these nitrous oxide capsules and then it'll shoot out whipped cream the other side. I've never seen one of those before. A lot of knives. Well, this one is like uh, the knife we use in China. Or Chinese people like these type of... These are German stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like the Kinder thing. Yeah. Nathan loves these, so I'm gonna buy these for him. 70 cents a piece, it's a pretty good price. I like the Kinder chocolate. Oh, here's another Kinder stuff. Well, here's another item you don't see at the regular Costco. These are the gummy candies, but they have a pizza version. And then if you go down, they have a hot dog version. And then they have a mini hamburger version. Is that candy? Yeah, it's all gummies. So here's some interesting dried stuff at the regular Costco. They have this big bag of dried ginger chunks, which is basically just ginger and cane sugar gluten-free yeah gluten-free made in thailand and then we have chili mangoes which are also from thailand and gluten-free 8.99 the other one is 8.99 yeah. well, organic coffee yeah this is one you don't find in the club actually they just started carrying lavaza in the regular clubs not that long ago um but they don't have the organic one, apparently. They're only carrying it here, but 15 bucks is actually a pretty good price for this. So here you have lots of syrups that you can buy for a coffee shop, or um, if you've ever had an Italian soda before, they use these for a base for that. What are the flavors? Oh, there's tons. There's peppermint, mango, peach, watermelon, strawberry, raspberry, coconut, hazelnut, Almond, English toffee, caramel, French vanilla, plain vanilla, and sugar-free vanilla. Wow. Well, this is something I haven't seen before. Uh, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right, but I think it's La Colomba. Is uh, it a French thing? No, no. I don't remember what city they started in. Um, but they have coffee shops in certain cities. I know there's one in Chicago in the West Loop. But um, I'm gonna get these for Nathan too. I'm sure he'll like them. They're also these are also gluten free. Well, coffee should be gluten free, right? Well, I don't know. Sometimes when they add stuff to it, I'm never sure what they put in it. And the, the hits keep coming. They also have a version of their uh, coffee, and it's got oat milk in it. That's uh, pretty unusual. So they use uh, oat milk instead of regular milk. Instead of dairy, yeah. yeah. It's a little more pricey, but I mean, pretty rare to find something with oat milk like that in the club. 
This is almond milk. It's on sale, eleven ninety nine. You save three dollars. I don't recall seeing this in the other no, regular. No, they don't have it. Oh, I see Chinese word in there. It's black tea. Milk. With milk. Milk tea. Milk black tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to try this one. Well, here's another jasmine green tea. Yeah. Well, the word on the bottle looks like Japanese word. Yeah. Well, I guess green tea usually is Japanese. Yeah, this company thing. is based out of Japan. Oh, okay. Oh, these are Mexican drinks. Yeah, lots of different flavors. Fancy water. It seems like it's pretty cheap. It's dollar sixteen cents yeah. per bottle. Oh, like the Philippine thing. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, you can do like the luau pig or like, well, that's too big for lechon because that's usually a suckling thing. If you want to go fancy with your pork, they have this Iberico pork shoulder from Spain. Looks pretty good, but it's uh, almost $17 a pound. So, Pricey. Yeah, so okay. I'm sure it tastes really good, but you better really like pork. Let's see the other side. Oh. Nice package. Yeah, see, there, there are pigs rooting in the dirt, getting themselves fat, all for your pleasure. Uh, what is calamari steak? Alaska Yummy. Look at this huge container of kimchi. This is huge. Yeah, it's like twice as big as the one we get at the other store. Yeah. This whole aisle are cheese. Lots of choices. Two pounds of pork belly. Wow, this huge, Hope you're hungry. huge box. If you don't want a whole box of pork belly, you can buy it this way too. They're like a two pack. Okay. Well, yeah, we usually buy this at Costco anyway. For some reason, it's only 15 bucks here, and it's like 20 at the regular flavor, almost 20. What? Should Oops. we buy some? Looks like it's on sale. They said it was 1989. Yeah, I think it's just on sale here though. Probably. A whole wall of meat and sausages. If you really like prosciutto, you can buy the whole thing. Slice it yourself. Yo, so Tried it dry pork. I'm surprised to see this here. And hey, what do you use this for? Oh, you can like, you can eat directly. 
But yeah. you can put it on the bread. Yeah. Or anything. Or lots of oh. recipes for it. Interesting. Well, it doesn't have anything weird in it, actually. It's gluten-free. Yeah, and I heard this no is... No preservatives, no MSG. Yeah, I heard this is like only half the price. Yeah. Compared to the ones in the Asian grocery store. Hmm. So, what is this? Yeah, what? Well, S swallowed nest beverage. Swallows nest beverage. What the heck is that? <laughs> it's something like supposed to be have supposed to have a lots of health benefit. Interesting. Okay. Wow, we got all this Asian stuff. I didn't know. Is this moon cake? Yep. Oh yeah, it's just moon cake. Wow, they have a lot of this uh, bird nest thing. Yeah. I don't know why they still carry so many mooncakes. Moon, fes moon festival was over a long time ago. Oyster sauce. Mm-hmm, here we go. Some red sauce. What's the red sauce? Oh, I'm sorry, fish sauce. Fish sauce. I saw red boat and I said red sauce. I mixed them together. And then they've got the uh, sweet chili Thai sauce. Hai hen. And they have the wazin sauce. Hai xin chiang. Turkey brine. Yeah. Just what? in time for the holidays. What's the use of the turkey brine? Yeah, so you, you basically kind of like soak the turkey in the brine. I have instructions here on how to do it. You mix the brine with boiling water. Then you refrigerate the turkey and brine for 12 to 24 hours before you cook it. Okay, 679. Find our pink salt. It's like two bottles. Or you can get this huge one. 